In this course, we're going to create a zombie horde shooter game. It's a 2D game with some very cool pixel art in it. And I'll quickly show you the game. So it's in a web browser. You can actually visit it at hordez.com if you want to check it out for yourself. And we just click to get to the start screen and start playing some music and some sound effects. And the idea is that you're a, a lone survivor stuck in the middle of a horde of zombies and you have to fight them off for as long as you can. As you, as you can see the game has some cool weather effects and some lightning and thunder going on. And if we click to start the game see we've got a health bar down here and we've got these zombies running in and we can shoot to kill the zombies as they come in and there's lots of different types of zombies And we have sound effects um, of the gun firing and sound effects as we hit the zombies. And then if they come in too near, they start attacking us, our health bar goes down and we die and it's game over. So you'll be able to create this game yourself in about three hours. And I take you all the way from absolutely nothing all the way through to deploying this game on your own web page. We start off with a prototype. In fact, you get up and running within about five minutes. You're drawing on a canvas inside a web page. And we prototype up the whole game in just over an hour using just squares and circles so you can get an understanding of how a game like this is put together. And then we move on to replacing those simple squares and circles. We have a square that's our player and some circles that are coming in towards the square and we're shooting blue circles at the circles. So the game's mechanics are all prototyped out to start with and then we go on to show how we can turn that very basic looking looking prototype into a very cool looking game like you see in front of you. Of course all the source code is included and all the assets or these zombie assets are also included but of course you can use your own if you would like and so all you need to create this game is a computer in the internet and you should be good to go. This game is written in plain vanilla JavaScript but modern JavaScript so we're using ES6 and above. You'll get to use things like classes, methods, getters, setters, array methods, all that sort of good stuff and for rendering these graphics in a high performant way we will get some help from a library called Pixie.js which is a library that frameworks like Phaser is built on top of. And that just means that we don't have to work with WebGL directly, which can be a little too complicated. The first half of the course is available for free on YouTube. And that will take you all the way through to finishing the uh, prototype. And then if you feel like you want to carry on and implement the uh, sprites and find out how to deploy the game, and add audio and music etc. Then if you come to morganpage.teachable.com and if you scroll down and choose view all courses and then if you scroll down to the bottom of this page you will find the full course here and the full course costs twelve dollars but I'll put a coupon code in the description of this YouTube video that'll give you a hefty discount. And so you'll essentially be buying me a couple of cups of coffee, which will be very much appreciated. And will hopefully keep me awake enough to write some more courses. Well, I hope you join me in the course and have a great day.